for uh, coming along and uh, joining us in this uh, sort of surreal event that we have here, uh, sans NAB and anything else we can do to get together. Uh, but uh, we had a lot of things planned for NAB, as like we do every year, uh, Facilis Technology being a shared storage company, uh, working a lot with, with networking and, and supporting the broadcasters out there in the field today, which is why I'm able to come into the office and, and help our customers sort of still produce content that's needed uh, for, for worldwide consumption. Uh, but, you know, of course, a lot of our customers are feeling the pinch here and, and uh, staying safe as they should be uh, in isolation. Um, but we have a lot to talk about uh, this, uh, this release that we're having today, which I think, you know, Amy may have uh, may let you in on uh, or by, by virtue of releasing our, our press release today. Version 8 and Fast Tracker 3.5 uh, has been released, and those are our sort of flagship uh, products, uh, as well as our object cloud product, which I'll talk to you in a minute, but uh, I have a couple slides. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put those up. Version 8 uh, of, our, of our shared storage system is called Hub Shared Storage. We uh, released this a year ago to NEB, so it's a first year anniversary of our Hub uh, Shared Storage uh, environment. Uh, and it's an award-winning environment. We were, were able to place um, <clears throat> a lot of awards under our belt. Uh, over the past year, and uh, that's that was due to I think this just the integration of all the architecture we've been putting in place, the asset management, the the cloud and LTO integrations, which I'll go over in a moment. Um, and we're very happy to get those accolades. Uh, we are 16 years and running now uh, for the uh, uh, for the company itself, uh, and this um, you know it's uh, it's not un unprecedented by any means, but we're proud uh, to have been able to help uh, the, the industry for this long, uh, and still going strong. Version 8.0 is uh, the new version of uh, software for the hub shared storage systems, and it has a lot of new features. Um, those features include multi-disc parity. Uh, you know, we, we went beyond RAID 6, and we went into multiple disks that can fail on the same drive group at the same time. That's all on a per volume basis or, or software defined basis based on whatever project you happen to be working on. You can secure that and protect that differently uh, than the rest of the environment if you'd like to. And people with different size drive groups are choosing different levels of RAID they can apply to their drive groups. Uh, bandwidth priority is uh, new for version eight, as well as uh, IO balance. And those are both two parts of the same feature. One is IO balance basically allows uh, everyone to have an equal share of the bandwidth of the, of the network, unlike sort of those network attached storage systems that can be sort of very spiky and allow too much bandwidth to one client at a time. Uh, IO balance sort of levels that out and gives everyone sort of equal share of the bandwidth that's available. And then bandwidth priority, if you happen to really load up the server and it's starting to get slow, any client that you choose a high priority will maintain their bandwidth uh, through, through, that, through that episode. Uh, so for a lot of critical workstations, that's really important. Um, you know, our, our product family includes both hard drive and SSD based as well as, you know, stacks of servers and aggregators and hybrid systems. So, you know, a wide range of different products that we can employ and deploy against the different types of workflows that our product that our that our customers have. Uh, Fast tracker asset management is our uh, piece. It's a software that goes with the system. It's included with every server that we sell. Uh, and there's no charge for it, any number of seats that you'd like. Uh, as long as you're on a support contract with us, then you can maintain that, that fast tracker license for, for unlimited seats for as long as you own the product. Um, and it's integrated with the server hardware itself. Uh, so you don't need a secondary uh, workstation or a secondary uh, place to run the server. It's all on the, on the Facilis server itself. Even our low-end servers, our entry-level models, all have the same feature set for volume sharing, volume uh, management, and fast tracker uh, asset tracking. And version 3.5 comes with some new features, lots of them. And they include file movements to archive, uh, file copy and movements, uh, duplicate file detection, the ability to index uh, multiple uh, volumes of files and determine where the duplicate files live. Uh, so as to help streamline your storage. Um, verification of archive to LTO and to cloud. Of course, the cloud uh, uh, online or the cloud backup uh, aspect of this has become pretty important in this uh, environment. And we can restore directly to the desktops through prefetch to the, from the cloud or LTO directly through Fast Tracker. So it's grown quite a bit uh, in the past uh, couple of years and the interface has gotten really elegant and it's, it's really a pleasure to use and it's very, very fast. Fast tracker means that you know the searches happen very quickly. Assets are available very quickly for you to use, and that's really the intent of, of, uh, of the software. 
Um, object Cloud, Object LTO, this has you know, been of particular interest uh, to our customers over the past month or so. Uh, and with obvious reasons, I mean, the ability for us to integrate cloud storage into the storage uh, in, in, in facility storage environment uh, has become really important for some of our customers. Uh, so this is, comes with either turnkey or software only. Uh, turnkey is we sell the storage with the, uh, the Object Cloud feature. Uh, and that Object Cloud feature uh, is license for the certain capacity that you have. And we sell Wasabi Storage, which is a storage provider that has no egress costs. So we're able to provide a one flat fee for the capacity that you're using and not have to worry about how many times you're accessing those files. And so that becomes very important uh, for our customers, especially uh, with the, the remote access needs that people have today. Um, integrated with the server hardware, same as Fast Tracker. It's there on the server. It doesn't require any, any, any secondary uh, location to run. It's all being run from the Facilis server itself. And we've optimized the server hardware processor memory to, to allow for these things to happen. Uh, you can restore right to the desktop uh, through Fast Tracker or just through drag and drop out of the virtual cache volume. Virtual cache represents everything in the cloud and LTO in one location. All the files and folders are there. It looks just like a local drive on your desktop and you can access everything from one place. It's really object storage on the desktop. So it's become a, a, an easy way for our customers to get their head around archive and, and backup and, and pushing to remote access uh, from the facility. Uh, and I can control all of the functions in Object Cloud through Fast Tracker itself. And Fast Tracker has the integrations and the APIs uh, for Object Cloud so that everything can be done from there. Your file groups and, and different uh, retention rules and things like that that you can add uh, for the disk cache. And along with this service, uh, we're providing for three months the ability to get into the Object Cloud service uh, at no charge at all if you have your own cloud service or at just a minimal charge for the storage if you use our turnkey storage uh, with the cloud service. So we're doing that to help people get around this, this epidemic uh, and help them keep business going. So one thing that we're announcing for uh, Q2, which you know we're in Q2, uh, but we're thinking more like May, June timeframe, uh, is our Facilis Edge and our ability to have a remote uh, multi-site sync so that synchronization can happen at your home or at a secondary location outside of the main facility uh, so that a drive on your desktop at home can represent everything that you've cached in the facility and it's all there. It's not, it's not there until you need it, which is the nice thing about sort of cloud caching, uh, but it uses a cloud intermediary to get the data to your desktop at home or to the secondary facility. So that's really the, the intent of this is, is to come out with something that turned out to be necessary way ahead of time. And but we think really it's gonna be for the times ahead. I think we're gonna see this happening for a long time to come and people are gonna get used to the idea of remote editorial and remote working. Um, and we're set up perfectly for that because we can act as a cloud caching server, which is a very fast and capable server remotely in the land and also serves as your portal to the cloud and to the remote uh, locations for your clients. Um, you know, Facilis, uh, having been doing this for 16 years, we've seen just about every type of, of workflow out there. And I think some of the trends that we're seeing, you know, notwithstanding the remote access um, activity that we're seeing today, has been more movement to cloud, uh, has been more movement to, to portable workflows. And we're adding Fast Tracker to a lot of our current customers because Fast Tracker innately has the ability to proxy and, pre and create preview files for high res material. And a lot of people are seeing that, well, if I want to take things home with me, the first thing I need to do is make them smaller. Or if I want to access them from the wide area network, I need to make them smaller. Uh, so the idea behind Fast Tracker, just in its, it, one of the functions that it does is that everything it indexes, you can automatically have it create a uh, proxy file, which is a lower bit rate, 4K to HD, uh, HD high res to HD low bit rate, H.264. And it has the same exact path and the same exact extension and file wrapper as the original file. So very easy to link back and forth between high res and uh, lower bitrate media for people who want to start the project in facility and move it externally or even start remotely on proxies and then move, be able to move it to a finishing phase. Because the big problem right now is that people can't easily finish on a remote workstation because they don't have the hardware, they don't have the, the color space set up, they don't have everything they need for finishing tools at home. Mm -hmm. So they can do the bulk of the work there and then still isolate back in the facility uh, to perform that finishing. So we like to enable that for our customers and it's been pretty successful so far. Great. Thank you so much, Jim, that was great. I've got a couple of questions uh, for you. 
How easy is it for current users to upgrade their current Fast Tracker package to the new one that was released today? Um, the Fast Tracker package uh, is it's, it's really the simplest thing we do because if you're running a Facilis server, uh, you, you already have the ability to, to run Fast Tracker. Um, and just by loading it onto the system itself, it will just take over from where you had your database would be upgraded. Uh, the only thing that, that, that's new about the Fast Tracker 3.5 is its duplicate file detection is based upon what it's indexing now because it does a hash for every file that it indexes. And because of that, it, it's able to tell if the file is the exact same file as the one it had indexed previously. So we're telling a lot of people that, you know, if you can hold off for another couple of days, or, you know, another couple of weeks, if it were last month, um, get on 3.5 to start. That way, everything you index will be capable of the duplicate file detection uh, and it'll help you manage your storage a bit better. But otherwise, you know, everyone who has a current license uh, for Fast Track or anyone who has a current software support contract, any customer of ours can upgrade to Fast Tracker 3.5. Great. And then just one last one to finish. How are you enabling secure access to in facility assets through cloud workflows? We have a, a couple of ways to do that. And we've uh, sent out some information uh, widely to our customers about this. Um, you know, we're, we're not trying to market on the back of this thing. We're just trying to make it easier for our customers. And they're really coming after us about, you know, how do I get access to all my facility assets inside uh, the building? Uh, VPN has been a popular way to go, and we are uh, set up to work within a VPN environment. Uh, the software itself that manages the mounting of the volumes and access to the volumes is set up so that it can route through a VPN and across different IP ranges to get access to those volumes to be able to mount them right on your system at home. Uh, so if you do have, you know, a software editorial system we're running at home, or if you've even brought home your, your PC or, or Mac to be working from home, you'll have those same volumes in your desktop. Now, the performance of that isn't always great. It really depends on a lot of factors, and that's not something that we can really help much with because it's your facility, but we can also help with the cloud aspect of it. And secure aspect, secure access to cloud assets is, of course, what we've been doing for the past year with our object cloud feature. Um, and that's helping a lot of customers because they're telling us that it takes less time for them to upload and download from the cloud to home than it does for them to copy the same file over VPN, just, just the way that, that it works. Because there's acceleration on the way up, there's acceleration on the way down uh, of those assets. And that's all incorporated with the object cloud feature. Mm -hmm.